Hello, I'm Casey Hobbs and I'm the 4-H agent for Walker County and I'm excited to introduce to you our premier program of 4-H and that is District Project Achievement. You may have done this in the fifth grade, you may have been doing it since the fourth grade, but we continue to do it all the way through the 12th grade. Project Achievement opens up so many doors to you from the portfolio process that actually can turn into not only a job resume, but to help you on those college and scholarship applications to the presentation that you will give in March that really helps to enhance all of those public speaking and communication skills that you'll need as an adult. In this video, I hope to share with you the first half of the process, and that is your portfolio. It is a very easy process, only a few written pages that will be due to me before the end of the year. If you have any questions after you watch this video, feel free to give me a call at any time, 706-638-2548. So Senior District Project Achievement is for those in high school, grades 9 through 12. So how is this different than the project achievement you did when you were younger? Well, first of all, you're going to go straight to the district competition. It's a whole weekend trip that you get for free. We leave on Friday and we come back on Sunday and it's at Rock Eagle 4-H Center. If you happen to place first at this competition, you get a chance to go to State Congress in Atlanta in July. This is a huge event and you might even earn Master 4-H status. You, of course, are adding a portfolio but this portfolio includes a cover letter, two written pages, and two supporting material pages that we'll go over in this video. Your speech that you will do in March will be 10 to 12 minutes in length, but you might also be performing a performance or doing a foods lab. It depends on what project you pick. A portfolio is basically scholarship preparation. If you're interested in going to college, project achievement is probably the best way for you to go ahead and start keeping track of the things that you need to go into those applications. I mentioned Rock Eagle. This is a video that Georgia 4-H put out a few years ago that explains the entire district project achievement process. I'll include a link for you and I encourage you to go to that video and give it a look. Another thing to note about Senior Project Achievement is that if you are in the 9th, 10th, or 11th grade, you can run for Northwest District 4-H Senior Board of Directors that serves 39 counties. If you are looking for an area leadership position or would like to give it a shot, make sure to contact me and let me know before the end of the year. So, Portfolios are worth 50% of your total score, while your demonstration, the thing you will actually do in March, whether that is a speaking presentation, a food lab, or a performance, is worth the other 50% of your entire score. The first thing we need to do is to pick your project area. You want to pick a project area that you're already spending the majority of your year doing because that's going to sh show in your portfolio that's worth about half of your total score. Please let me know if I can be of any assistance to helping you pick what project area would work best for you. I keep talking about a portfolio, so let's dive into a specific look on exactly what is a portfolio. A portfolio is a lot more simple than what it seems. It's just a celebration of your work and accomplishments for the year. The things you put in your portfolio should have happened between January 1st and end December 31st of this year. It is one page that is a cover letter, two pages of your accomplishments, and two pages of pictures. Super easy, only five pages long. Inside the portfolio, you'll see sections, the cover letter, main project work, sharing and helping, leadership, community service and citizenship, and other activities. You may see some of these that you could fit a lot of information into, 
and other areas that you might not. It's okay. We do what we can for this year and we can always improve and add more things onto our plates for the next year. Each year should be a learning process and all of these areas are to show judges and future employers that you are a well-rounded individual. So don't let these sections scare you off. It's okay to have more in one section than in another. The first five points of your portfolio is the reliability and the layout. I am more than happy to help you with the layout of your portfolio to make sure that it looks nice and neat. But it is your responsibility to make sure that your portfolio is complete and that it has got correct spelling and grammar. Your cover letter is one page long. It's the only section of your portfolio where you can mention something that happened before this year. You may want to include information about why you chose your 4-H project, your family, your history of how you've been in 4-H, past involvement in your project, or any other information that you want the judges to know about you. This is your time to let the judge know a little bit more about yourself. Main project work should take up about half of the page. In this category, you include anything that you've done to learn more about your project area. It may include classes, workshops, tours, interviews, website, books, and more. This is where you're showing that you've done research into your project category. For example, if you are choosing to do your project on softball, you're in the sports category. In your portfolio, you can put under main project work any information that you learned about any sport, not just softball. So you'd be surprised at how much you've probably already done in main project work that's worth 25 points of your portfolio. The next section is main project sharing and helping, which is also worth 25 points. In this section, it usually takes up about half of a page, and this is where you can include anything you have done to share about what you know about your project area with others. This can include any presentations, exhibits, community service related to your project, project clubs, mentoring, if you created a blog, a YouTube channel, anything to share what you have learned or to help others in what you have learned in your project area. The next section is leadership. It's worth 15 points. This includes any leadership activities such as holding an office in a club, serving on committees, being a team leader, assisting fellow 4-Hers or students, or just being a helpful part to a group or an organization. If you're a captain of your team or an usher at your church, these are great things to put in the leadership section that's worth 15 points. The next is community service and citizenship. It's worth 15 points. Any community service project that you've donated to, helped with, or participated in for the betterment of the community is listed in this section. Okay, this may include work with the elderly, disabled, youth at risk, beautification projects, canned food drives, Salvation Army, you name it, it goes in community service. If you're worried that you don't have enough in service, there's so many things that you can easily do just from your home. Making cards for the elderly or troops, collecting donations for an organization to give away, you name it, there are so many things that you can do to help others. The next section is other activities. It's worth 10 points. Honestly, anything that you've done this year can be listed in your portfolio. If it's not already in your portfolio, list it. This includes 4-H, school, community, church, other activities that you're involved with can all go in here. If you're doing well in school and you're in the beta club, list that here. If you're in another club or you do a sport, or in the church youth group, it all gets listed here. The last two pages are your supporting materials. This is where you get to show the judges all the wonderful things that you have talked about in your portfolio. You will include two pages of pictures, news articles, letters, or support 
supporting materials that show off your great work. Most kids just put pictures and don't forget to include captions so that we know what the picture is about. So what does this portfolio really look like? Well, here's an example. This is an example of a cover letter. It is always addressed, Dear Project Judge, and it's basically an introduction of yourself, maybe why you chose that project, and what you do in your normal everyday life. It's just a chance for the judge to get to know you before reading the rest of your portfolio. This page is to show what you have done related to your project category. Main project work you will see is just a list of the things that you have done to learn more about your project. And next you will see the main project sharing and helping section. This is a list of the things that you have done to share or to help others related to your project. This page is mostly listed in bullet form and can be either one column or two columns. On this page of your portfolio, you'll see you'll list any leadership activities you've done, community service and citizenship, or any other activities. Again, this is a simple bulleted list, but you want to make sure you give just enough information to let the judge know what it's about. You have to remember that the judge could be from anywhere in the state of Georgia, and what we may know locally as something, they may not know what it is. Brief explanations are a great help on this page. Your supporting materials are just picture pages for the most part. You could put any picture of you doing something, but make sure that the pictures are of you, not just of the thing that you've done. If you need to go back and take pictures of the things that you've done this year, that's okay. We just need to be able to see all of the wonderful work that you've put in the last two pages of your portfolio. The best thing to do with a portfolio is just to keep a running list or calendar of all the activities activities and events that you do over the course of a year. I can always help you organizing those into which category they go into, but unless you keep up with them, it makes it a lot more difficult toward the end of the year. And that's it. That's half of the project is just the portfolio. It's just a few simple pages that need to be completed by the end of the year. I'll be happy to help you get through all of it. Just let me know if you're ready to begin. After the new year, we'll start working on your presentation, demonstration, your food lab, whichever project you pick, we'll start working on that after the first of the year. I look forward to seeing your portfolios.